team and saying, you know, we don't know exactly what's going to happen just because this is, again, something that uh, is expected to continue for days on end from this point forward. What we're looking at here across Chicagoland is a bit on the cloudy side. We may see some scattered showers out there ourselves, but absolutely nothing like what they're dealing with in Texas. As we look here at that counterclockwise swirl that is that center of circulation just south of Houston, it continues to wrap in that intense moisture and it continues here. Look at this. We're looking at the estimated totals for the next 24 hour period. And every time I look at this, this big area of yellow is right Right in and around or very near to the Houston area as well as around uh, Lake Charles now. And if we look back even towards New Orleans and Hattiesburg, these folks are going to pick up a t upwards of 10 plus inches of rain as well in the next 24 hour period. Harvey right now 45 mile an hour sustained winds. Movement is north northeast at five with a pressure of 997 millibars. It's expected to make another landfall. This will likely happen sometime about 24 hours from now. And it is expected to then die out pretty quickly as it gets picked up by our regular weather patterns and kind of tossed on off eventually into the Ohio River Valley. It should not really impact us, save for maybe bring us a bit of high cloud cover into the weekend. But what, what this is going to do here is continue to bring rain to these folks because we're talking about Friday at 7 a.m. It's finally out and away. So we've got another couple days of rain to go for the people around southeast Texas and Louisiana. What I'm looking at here are a few showers around Cook County and Lake County right now, some uh, kind of drizzling down into our northwest Indiana counties and heading towards Will. It's not heavy rain, but you may want to keep your umbrella handy today. 73 degrees at Midway, 75 for Gary, 74 O'Hare, 71 for McHenry, Aurora, and also for DeKalb. Visibility was an issue this morning. No longer. Everybody's visibility is up in the good range, up to 10 mile visibility, and no problems in that regard. So that early fog has burned off. We've got some shower and storm potential today, albeit uh, minor, 76 degrees the high. Northeast Easterly wind from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, partly cloudy. Maybe some isolated storms, but that activity looks to be wrapping up here pretty quickly. 63 degrees for the overnight low. Into tomorrow, sunshine comes out in a big way. It's going to be a beautiful day here in Chicagoland. 79 degrees the high. North northwesterly wind at around 5. We do cool down, though, coming into Thursday and Friday with temperatures in the low to mid 70s, uh, warming up a touch back into the weekend. Again, we may have just a little bit of high cloud cover associated with uh, Harvey's moisture, but aside from that, we look to have a beautiful Labor Day weekend setting up, Erin. Megan, thank you. Excellent.